Welcome back guys to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today I have some very exciting news to share with you guys. Apparently the Pimax 8KX partnered with Nvidia to create a 90Hz mode for the Pimax 8KX. Now this is awesome news, but it's only compatible with 30 series cards. So if you have a 3070, a 3080 or 3090, it should work fine. And you'll also need to downgrade your driver uh, for now until they make it compatible with the latest driver. So in this video, I will show you guys how to get it installed and I will review it and test it for you guys and let you know if it's worth the upgrade. So let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is install the new beta firmware. So go to the Pimax forum. You can find a community.openmr. Click here for their new beta. And then here for uh, to see all the information. So when you download this firmware DFU file, I'll show you guys the next step. Next, you'll want to navigate to C, Program Files, scroll down and look for Pimax. Go to Runtime and scroll down until you find dfu.exe. This is the firmware flashing software. The firmware tool will look like this. All you'll need to do is go select file and find your dfu uh, beta file. And then you'll press download firmware. Make sure that your Pimax is on and connected and running. Now keep in mind that this firmware upgrade tool will not work for everyone. And some people may end up corrupting their installation and then having to download new firmware that resets it but keep just keep in mind that nothing you do will ever permanently brick uh, the headset there's safety features involved now if this dfu firmware tool doesn't work there are other ways of flashing the firmware that could be safer so check the pimax forum for that so once you're ready you'll just press download firmware And there we go, it's done. So once you have flashed the firmware, the new thing you will notice is that refresh rate gets set to 90 hertz. Now if you have the latest NVIDIA driver installed, your uh, Pimax screen will be, will be black. So you need to downgrade your driver. If, now here, if you switch to 75 hertz mode, you will notice that the device restarts itself and then the screen loads normally. So now let's, in, let's backdate the driver to an older version. So according to this table, the latest driver that's supported is 461.09. So I'm going to be installing this for my test. So just go to Google and type NVIDIA driver 461.09 and you'll find the individual driver page and download it from there. All right, guys. So the first game I'm going to test for you guys is Pavlov. And as you can see, I'm getting close to 90 FPS on the menu. This test is done with an RTX 3090. I'm using the new Pimax fiber cable, the longer version. So it should be a better data speed. And uh, I'm running 80% um, super sampling, but with native render quality at 1.25 times. I'm also using the largest FOV mode, large. So uh, let's get started. All right, so it, I can tell that it feels smoother. Definitely this feels nicer than 75 Hertz. Now keep in mind that OBS Studio reduces the frame rate, so the fact that I'm recording this means that uh, it'll be a bit lower frame rate than when you're not recording it. Also, the bug with the stuttering issue would also cause frame rate issues, so hopefully they, they get it working on the latest NVIDIA driver.
So far it's keeping a smooth 90 hertz on this map, but I am using a 3090 and this is pretty simple map on Pavlov. So now let's test it with Half-Life Alex. And um, as you can see, the frame rate is not very good. And I suspect this is due to 1.25 render quality. Maybe I'll try lowering the super sampling. And I should mention that obviously uh, recording on OBS and also running FPS VR is going to affect the performance. So it's one thing to keep in mind. All right, so testing again. This time I'm using 1.0 render quality. Now you can see frame rate struggling here, but when I go in here, for example, it gets to 90. So it really depends on the environment. Now I'm using the command line tool options that uh, eliminate the need for parallel projection. So that also may be why um, those scenes are intensive. But anyway, um, I will tell you guys, this feels pretty smooth. I can definitely feel like there's more responsiveness than 75 hertz so yeah you can definitely notice the difference all right next up is Beat Saber some game that would greatly benefit from 90 hertz Definitely feels smoother and more responsive than 75. All right, and now I'm just going to do some very quick tests. So population one um, using 100% super sampling and render quality one runs perfectly fine. Absolutely no issues with frame rate. So you can really up the super sampling on this game. Boneworks works perfectly, you guys. Just smooth. You can even up the super sampling. This is 90 hertz. Works like a charm. So there you have it guys. I also did a test on Assetto Corsa and it works just fine in that game too. So it looks like the 90Hz mode works perfectly on the Pimax 8KX on an RTX 3090 or 3080 or 3070 using an older NVIDIA driver such as 461.09. Now I'm hoping that they get this working on the latest driver so that for those of us who play flat games occasionally we won't have to switch between drivers if we prefer using the latest one for certain games. And uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.